Pisces, welcome to your love reading for today, August 3rd to August 11th. This is actually my second take. I had a major coughing fit like right after I did the intro. Uh, the last take I did, I did get August 8th. So keep in mind that might be a really big day for some of you. It was just a little psychic slip that came out. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And yes, my allergies are bothering me, so just I might have to take some time to cough, take a sip of water, all that good stuff. Also, people are speaking a lot of truth lately, and it, it's been messing with my throat chakra through my readings, okay? So for those who've been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing the pre-shuffle sessions, just to save on time and just to keep it a little shorter. My readings are never short, as you guys know, and as you guys can tell, just by looking at the timestamps, uh, my readings are never short anyway. Um, but Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your, your um, meditative session that I did, okay? Pisces, your energy is very different. It is very different. Um, I actually feel like you're, you're tapping into your counterpart's energy, which is Virgo, your natural uh, seventh house, your natural opposite. The people say opposite, but to me, it's really a compliment. <clears throat> And we all have a little bit of that energy within us. We all have all the zodiacs within us, but it's a lot easier to pull our counterparts energy out. Like for example, Scorpio has got some Taurus they can pull out. Aries have Libra in them that they could pull out. It's just the compliment. It's the other little part of them that is just buried deep inside. Just like you, you've got Virgo deeply buried inside of you, okay? Um, when I tap into Piscean energy, usually what happens is I can feel a lot of the energy in my crown and it just... Whoo, like sinks me right into my heart chakra like when i'm tapping into pisces this actually felt like the opposite which is why i feel like you're in a lot of more virgo energy than piscean energy i started in the heart chakra and i just started to creep up it wasn't a quick progression like it is for you like a creep down like a major descent down it wasn't fast like that it was a slow progression up very virgo very virgo um you're tapping into virgo energy you're very earthy right now very earthy. People might even be telling you you're a lot more calm than you usually are. Pisceans are, are generally, well, they're peaceful. <laughs> they're peaceful. They're not always calm. Sometimes the Pisceans can be very excitable because you have that amazing imagination, right? That ama amazing creative energy and intuitive energy about you. Um, I feel like you guys are handling your shit right now. I saw a gong, which was interesting. So you could just hail from a culture... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, or part of the world where those are commonly used, or you could actually use that as part of your practice, um, or even Tibetan singing bowl, you could even use that as part of your uh, practice just to hone in on some details that I'm picking up on for some people. I also have this energy of like corralling, like corralling, organizing, bringing together. Some of you are definitely initiating a process here that's requiring a lot of people that you're bringing in together. Some of you could be starting a business, some of you could be starting a project, some of you could even be acting as a mediator in a situation where you're like, this shit has to end, it's, it's time to do something about this. It's time to do something about this. Let me initiate this. Let me bring people together to get this done. Again, very Virgo, very Virgo. I'm getting a lot of organization behind this. Like you have a major strategy that you're implementing and doing this. Others of you, it's like you're gathering research. Again, very Virgo. Or you could just be connecting with a Virgo and this could be all their energy. Keep that in mind as well. Um, or you're, some of you are gathering research researching 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 on what to do in the next phase of your life or what you want to do next and regarding a career um regarding a business just what your next chapter is going to be about you decided you're ready for some change and you're really going like head first into it and doing all the little nitty-gritty stuff you have to do like i said others you're also corralling people in doing something uh <clears throat> excuse me there's also this energy of being heard it's time to listen i just got <laughs> something just came to me it's time to listen. Pisceans, I know a lot of you sometimes feel like people don't listen to you or like your voice just kind of falls on deaf ears and it's quite the opposite right now. You're being listened to, you're being looked at, is also what I'm getting. You're being looked at, you're getting a lot of attention and recognition for what you're trying to do, okay? For what you're trying to do. I also just heard proposal. Some of you might be going for a patent, is also what I'm getting. Some of you guys might be going for a patent or proposing a business idea. Just make sure you have your business plan all you know, tailored up, all good, nice and neat. Again, harnessing the Virgo energy is really great for that, okay? All right, Pisceans, let's go ahead and get into your reading. <clears throat> for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret a tarot reading as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. I really encourage you to do so because I still get questions in the comments and your questions, I would say 99% of them can be answered by that video. Okay. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> sorry guys 
Uh, some of you could just be getting someone's attention that you're in a relationship with, that you are romantically involved with. But I do feel for a lot of you, it's about uh, really getting a situation set right in the work environment or in the family environment. And others of you, you're starting a business or an invention or a project of some kind. Either way, very leader, very alpha energy, and you're tapping into Virgo energy to do it. Any messages for my Pisceans regarding love from now until August 11th? I will be heard. That The energy keeps coming through. I will be heard. I will be heard. I will be heard. Any messages for Pisceans regarding love? Oh, two of wands just came flying out. Aries energy. Yeah, deciding your path. Like I said, I got that energy of like, where do I go next? What do I want next? What's my next next chapter going to look like? What's my next step going to look like? You are basically, you've already decided you're starting a new path. So you're past the ace, right? You're past the ace of wands. Now you're at the two, making decisions on how to set up a foundation or how to go about making a foundation. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th? Some of you guys are asking me if this can apply to the past. It can. It can. I mean, readings don't necessarily have a time to them. I just, I keep it in this timeline stuff just to keep myself organized, to keep myself organized with readings. But yeah, this can easily apply to something that took place in the past for you. Or if you come across this later, like, Let's say you're watching this in October. You know, it could apply to you then. Just whatever you're guided to watch, watch, right? Any messages from my Pisceans regarding love from now until August 11th? Any messages from my Pisceans regarding love from now until August 11th? I just realized August 8th, that date I had in my first take. 8-8. <laughs> oh my. Very auspicious number. Wow, Pisces, come on. I know you got a lot going on. Talk to me. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th? Oh, okay. Thank you for talking. Wow, interesting. Seven of Wands in reverse Leo energy. Being open to new ideas is actually what I'm getting with that. Being open to new ideas, being open to the possibilities, being very gracious and tactful as well. I feel like this is mostly regarding business dealings and career. Yeah, I feel like that energy is mostly about business dealings and career. Some of you have learned that, no, you know. Okay, most of you know, some of you had to learn this, some of you had to learn this, um, that listening is the best way to learn. Listening is the best way to get ahead. You learn more by listening than speaking. Some of you just, some of you had to learn this, most of you already know because you are Pisceans. Any other messages from my Pisceans regarding love? Oh, the Hierophant. I like it. Taurian energy. Oh. Some of you are, tr yeah. Some of you are trying to stay open to conventional ideas. You're trying to stay open to traditional ideas. You don't want to, though. I can feel that. <laughs> you don't want to. Uh, yeah, you don't want to. Some of you who have been very traditional or conservative through most of your life, you're, you're kind of realizing that, like, you know, I need to be more open-minded into different ideas, alternative ideas. But Pisces, you're so imaginative and you're so creative. You are very much out of the box thinkers that you're not exactly traditional people, but you're trying to adhere. <laughs> I can feel your irritation. Oh, I'm trying to adhere. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm also getting a lot of paperwork with this. Yeah, this is a lot of business for some of you Pisces. A lot of paperwork, red tape, red tape, red tape, red tape, red tape. I'm also getting surrender. Oh my God. Okay, I'm getting a download about um, um, a romance here. So don't let go of all the work stuff I just picked up on because that's definitely applying to a lot of my Pisceans I'm talking to. But I did just get a romance here of surrendering. Surrendering to what needs to happen. Someone Pisces, I don't think it's you. I think it's someone you're connected with. Surrendering, putting down defenses of what needs to happen now now moving forward now moving forward very specific now 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 moving forward any other messages for pisces regarding love from now until august 11th 
temperance. Oh, I like that. Sagittarian energy. My fixed angel, divine intervention, also um, divine protection as well. Balancing things out. Balancing things out and having patience, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, you've run out of patience is actually what I'm hearing. For those that are corralling people to get something done, you've run out of patience, which is why I think you're so in Virgo, focus, action mode, proactive, getting shit done, trying to be open to all ideas, conventional and not conventional, while at the same time dealing with paperwork and the red tape of everything, if this if this corralling people's for a business. I do feel this is this patience though is more about corralling family issues or issues in a, in a friend dynamic, um, a social group. Patience. <laughs> You're having a hard time with that, Pisces. You're having a hard time with that. Patience with the paperwork too. Okay, thank you. So the patience that I'm getting is, like I said, is for people who need to corral others for like, for mending a situation in the family or a friend, in, for a friend environment. <clears throat> And for those where you're trying to start a project or a business or get something underway, where there's a lot of paperwork involved, you're trying to just surrender to it because you know you have to do it, but it's making you crazy. It's making you crazy. Just be patient. Just be patient. Any other messages for Pisces? That love that love story is coming in now again. That love story is coming in again. Um, this energy, which again is not you, it's someone else, that's surrendering to what has to happen now and whatever this romance is that I'm picking up, surrendering not being defensive stop fighting it stop resisting it it's divinely guided stop resisting what's divinely guided stop resisting what's meant for you is what i'm hearing for that person any other messages for pisces regarding love wow Ooh, no wonder you're impatient <laughs> justice in reverse libra energy here oh i'm also getting a little high priestess with that i'm not surprised you guys are pisces so justice in reverse Patience with the bullshit of paperwork for those who have to deal with that, with this corralling to get a business underway or a project underway or an invention underway. <clears throat> also, where this is a romantic uh, situation, because again, for some of you, it's strictly that business energy I'm picking up on. Um, also, with the corralling of people to mend situation with the family or friends, there was, an, there was a major injustice. There was. There was a long standing. I'm getting long standing major injustice, and you're fucking sick of it. Sorry, excuse my French trying to be better not cussing so much um yeah you want you realize it's up to you to fix it if it's going to be fixed it's up to you very proactive pisces i like it <clears throat> but going back to this romantic storyline that i'm picking up on uh this romantic energy that i'm picking on, up on uh there was major imbalance it could have been an injustice for some but i'm just getting more imbalance with this like your like you, your energies were just never on the same page is what i'm getting pisces like if you were high they were low if you were feeling good, they were feeling shitty. If you were growing, they were regressing and vice versa. It's like you two could just never quite find the right frequency to be on together. That's changing. That's changing because this person's surrendering. They were fighting it. They were fighting it. They were resisting it. And they know the path they have to take. And it needs to be now. Something about now, 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 now. Overall energy. Let me cover this up. <laughs> Page of Cups. Okay, Page of Cups, uh, sincerity. I'm getting sincerity, authenticity with this. You know, Pisces, you're being just so real with people in this situation. They have no choice but to listen. That I think that's also where this listening is coming in. You're being so commanding, captivating. Thank you, that's the word, captivating. You're being so captivating in your energy. People have to listen to you. And this is definitely regarding that mending a family situation, mending a friend situation, um, starting your own business, getting into that business proposal, being captivating, and again, and taking on a very earthy energy. You're not using your home energy, your home energy being Pisces. You're not using that home energy. You're being very earthy about it. You could just have a strong earth placement. Oh, Taurus and Capricorn. I just heard Taurus and Capricorn as well. So you might be tapping into all earth energy you possibly can, because I felt, I was feeling heavy Virgo initially. But I'm also hearing Capricorn and Taurus. He could just be getting as earthy and grounded as possible to be as immovable. Thank you. As immovable as possible. Undeniable. You can't deny me. You will not deny me. You have to listen to me. Very captivating because it's authentic. It's authentic. Uh, for those where this is a romantic situation, I am getting an apology. 
I am getting apologies. And also for that mending of a family situation, mending of a friend situation, apologies will be given, apologies will be exchanged. It's very interesting, Pisces, because if you didn't step up to the plate regarding this mending of family situation or friend situation, I think it would just be forever unjust, forever torn apart, misunderstood as well, misunderstood. I feel like a lot of people in this situation, oh, focus, again, with mending family or friends, uh, because it's multiple people, it's not just you and one person, it's multiple people, it's a group, it's definitely a group. Um, I think there would just be long-standing misunderstandings here. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this energy a little bit more, let's unpack this a little bit more. Um, that's surrendering energy and filling with the Hierophant and the Seven of Wands in reverse, surrendering to you, surrendering to this connection, um, regardless of whatever scenario I picked up on for you. Let's look at the Two of Wands though, because this is about what's coming, this is about the path ahead. Uh, yeah, let's do right away. Let's do right away. So we have the two of wands for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. So we have two of wands for Pisces. Keep in mind, Pisces, this could be vice versa. You could be on the um, you could be on the other end of all of this surrendering energy, right? Someone could be demanding your attention and you're like, fuck, I gotta listen. <laughs> Tell me about two of wands. Tell me about two of wands for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Tell me about two of wands for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Oh, that was, Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. I got a notification on my phone, but I like, it caught my, the corner of my eye and my peripheral vision. I thought something was like coming at my face. Anyway, uh, three of cups in reverse. Oh, three of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Because whatever has been happening hasn't been working. Hasn't been working. This is also a delayed reconciliation for those that are in that mending a family situation, mending a friend situation, or this romantic interest that's finally just surrendering to what is. <clears throat> Very much a delayed reconciliation. And Pisces, for those where this is more of a business sort of a thing, where you're starting a business or a project or an invention that you're trying to get underway, like you're trying to get investors, and you, that's the path you set for yourself, and you're trying to make shit happen. I'm feeling that you're isolating yourself from people. Um, you're not their friend. This is business. It's not personal. I like it, Pisces. I like it. Um, not here to make friends, just here to make business. I like it. And it's not like you're even being cold about it. You're not being an ass or you're not being a bitch about it. It's just, it just, it's just business. It's just business. Tell me about two of wands. The Scorpio me is like all excited for that. I don't know why. <laughs> Tell me about the two of wands for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Tell me about two of wands. Oh, awesome, Pisces. <coughs> As I choke on my words. <coughs> Eight of wands, Sagittarian energy, communication and forward movement. You're going. You're doing it. You're doing it. And for this romantic situation, and again, mending family, mending friends, you're making it happen. Like, no more of this, I'm not talking to you, I'm giving you the cold shoulder, no, 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 I'm not doing, like, none of that, but none of that bullshit, none of that childish bullshit, none of that childish bullshit. You're making sure things move forward, and that there's going to be a lot of very clear communication. I'm, I'm getting a lot of Knight of Swords energy. I don't know if we're going to get the card, but I'm feeling Knight of Swords. <clears throat> With that... Tell me about the two of wands for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. And for this love interest that's surrendering, they're, they're very specific, the love interest that's surrendering, I feel like you're going to get approached by them, Pisces, where it's more they're the ones who are doing the approaching because they're finally surrendering and they're ready to talk. You might get a te text, digital. It's going to be digital communication. Tell me about two of wands. For Pisces, regarding love from now. Oh, 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 yes. Ace of Pentacles. This is all the clarifying energies. No more delayed reconciliations. No more of that. No more cold shoulder. No more being childish. It's time to talk. 
Eight of Wands, time to talk, time to move forward towards a new beginning and towards stability, that Ace of Pentacles. I love that. I love that energy. And again, for those where this is business, it's time to get a nice little chunk of change, okay? <laughs> a nice little chunk of change and a beginning of stability in your own business, of your own making, your own project, your own invention. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And again, it's not about making friends. It's not about making friends, it's about business. Pisces, I love that. The, the Scorpio me is a boner for you right now. I like, I love that. It's just so alpha. So freaking alpha. Again, with this romantic interest, they might even give you a gift because it is a pentacle. Might even give you a gift. Overall energy for the two of wands, we do have seven of pentacles in reverse. You're so impatient for this, Pisces. I can feel it. Taurian energy. <clears throat> very impatient for this very impatient for this to happen impatient for your business to get off the ground your invention to get off the ground your project to get off the ground for this new beginning and stability to happen between your family your friends and where this is a romantic interest pisces it's interesting because i feel like you actually gave up on them for a while you gave up on them for a while and you just became just tired of the situation you also don't have patience for this person yeah for those with this romantic interest and they're coming your way, you don't have patience for them. They're antics. I just heard antics. You've heard it all from this person is also what I'm getting. You've heard it all. You've heard it all. You don't have patience for them. But they want to talk. They do want to talk and they got a little offer there for you. Okay? So let's keep it moving to temperance and justice in reverse. Let's look at justice in reverse because temperance, we already know, it's here to get shit right. Right, Pisces? If you're doing the mending of the family, the friends, <clears throat> corralling people, you're here to fix that injustice. Um, temperance also here to balance out this imbalanced relationship for those in this romantic situation. Um, where this is business, it's something that you... When it comes to business and career, Pisces, you just feel like you've always gotten the shitty end of the stick with that justice in reverse. Like, when am I going to get mine? It's kind of that energy. When am I going to get mine? Well, you're getting it now. <laughs> you're getting it now, Pisces. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use Gilded Terra to clarify. <clears throat> I just heard terrify. When I said clarify, I heard terrify. Pisces, some people might be a little intimidated by you because you're coming off very out of the ordinary with your energy. Out of the ordinary with your energy. A typical energy for you. And it might be scaring some people. But you know, when Pisces are worked up, they can get a little bit like that. I admire that though about you, Pisces. I admire that. It's a gift. Consider it a gift. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Oh, geez, almost bent my card. Ace of swords in reverse. Oh, man. Honestly, I'm just getting lies. Eat lies lies and illusions miscommunications yeah where this is a family friend situation there's been a lot of half truths yeah there's been a lot of half truths and misunderstandings oh telephone the telephone game yeah that's really it can easily happen when everyone wants to play the telephone game i heard this oh really you know what i heard this really because i thought it was this no 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 it's this yeah, half-truths. Half-truths, misconstrued, misconstrued truths between friends and family. Part of this injustice for those who are mending that situation. You know, and again, this like not being heard when it comes to work, not being heard, not being heard. It's almost like you talk, like this is like your past work experience. You talk, you share your ideas, you share your opinions. And it's like they hear you, but they can't process it or something. And then it's almost like five minutes later, someone says the same shit. And you're like, that's just what I said. I just said that. I, I, I just said that. I did just say that. And they like, don't respond. They're like, like, they can't be bothered with you. <clears throat> Pisces, I don't think it's your fault. You know, I mean, obviously, that's not your fault. Um, 
I don't think it's your fault. For any Pisceans that are resonating with that energy, people just can't keep up with you. They just can't keep up with your brain. I mean, you're, you are very creative, you're very imaginative, and I feel like I'm tapping into people who are very intelligent. And sometimes when there's that disparity of, you know, creativity, imagination, I hate saying intelligence because I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. But, you know, it's just it's hard to communicate with someone who's just not on the same wavelength. That's just the same as not being on the same wavelength. If you have a, a very uh, large gap in IQs or you have a large gap in creative knowledge or just creative skill, it's hard to communicate with someone who doesn't understand your wavelength, whether you're just here or they're there or you're here and they're there, right? That's all I'm getting at. <clears throat> That's all I'm getting at. It's hard for people to understand how your brain works. For those in that career situation, people can't understand how, you're, how you think. Um, and it's like I said, it's like they hear you, but it's like it's delayed. It's delayed. And then you, like, you hear them say the same shit and it's like, I said that, I said that. I said that keep up you know it's that it's that kind of energy sorry I, I can feel your irritation that was your irritation that just came through um for those with this is a romantic situation yeah that resistance that resistance I'm getting someone was, was lying was lying here um to themselves this is really unfortunate uh this romantic situation where there was so much resistance resisting it resisting it resisting it this person was kind of lying to themselves about the situation. They were ignoring it. They were ignoring it. They didn't want to see it. They couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. Okay. They couldn't understand it and I'm getting, they couldn't, they couldn't see it. They couldn't understand the connection. And I feel like that's just because they were lacking understanding about themselves. Again, not your fault. They were lacking understanding about themselves. When we don't understand ourselves, how in the hell could we ever understand someone else? If we can't understand ourselves, how can we understand someone else, let alone a connection we share with them, right? All right, let's keep it going. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Tell me about justice in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until August 11th. Let's see here. Wow. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. You're trying to let it go, Pisces. And for those that are leading this mending of family friend situation, I think that's also why you're leading this. Because it's almost like you're the first one to emotionally put it behind you. To the point where you're like, all right, let's just get this worked out now. It happened. I'm over it. I dealt with it. It's time we all deal with it. Let's just let's just talk. Let's just talk. Let's get this all out on the table. I'm also getting opening of the heart chakras and open of heart opening heart chakras. That kind of energy. Yeah, for those who are who are corralling your friends and family to do this, it's almost like they're having to open their heart chakras to get this done. Okay. Um, and again, where this is a romantic situation, you you've been trying really hard to put it behind you. You've been trying really hard to put it behind you. But you just don't want to deal with this person. And there's a big difference. You can forgive somebody, but it doesn't mean you got to deal with them, right? It's like, just because I forgave you doesn't mean you can come tra traipse them back into my life anytime you please, right? Very big difference. You forgive people for yourself and your own sanity to keep yourself moving along. You don't need any energetic blocks just because someone did some bad shit to you, right? That's where our responsibility of our healing process comes in. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Yeah, you've just been trying to let it go. And then we have Justice, Libra energy, and the King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be, earth, <coughs> excuse me, Earth or Air. I feel like this is actually your energy, Pisces. Like I said, you're in a lot of earthy energy. And very much in masculine energy, regardless if you're male or female, you're in masculine energy. You're seeking justice in this situation. You're taking the lead in the situation. Taurian energy is also very family-oriented. Very family oriented, very business oriented, very structure foundation oriented. So whether you're mending a family situation, a friend situation, um, being your own boss by creating a business or proposing a project or an idea at work <clears throat> or creating something, um, you're, you're, you're top dog. You're top dog right now. No one cannot listen to you. You are undeniable. You're captivating. You're being heard. You're taking charge. You're making things happen. You're making sure justice happens in the situation because you're just tired of it. You're tired of it. Um, in the romantic situation, uh, I do feel that justice is on your side here. 
because this person has to surrender, which is why they're coming to you, even though you don't have the patience to hear them out. This is why they're coming to you, because justice needs to be served in your favor regarding the situation and whatever um, lies, misconstrued, half-truths uh, came your way, whatever misunderstandings they had about you and your connection. Overall energy, we do have King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be air or fire underneath that. We do have Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy, and then we have the Sun, Leo energy. This is the energy of the strife in the family situation, in the friend situation, the energy of a boss at work who probably doesn't listen to you, the energy of people at work who've mistreated you, haven't really taken you seriously, and definitely the energy of the romantic interest here, okay? Someone who's very, this is lacking confidence. Pisces, I think that's also why you haven't felt hurt at work, especially because people have been a little intimidated by you. Like I said, it's something that your brain just is different. You're just different. You're just different than people you've typically worked with. Pisces, keep in mind that that could also be an indication that you're not exactly in the right field, which is why some of you might be starting your own business or initiating some kind of process for yourself regarding your career. Yeah, you might just be in the wrong field for some of you if they can't understand the way you're thinking. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. Some of you just said, no, just because I'm the best. <laughs> no, I just understand. <laughs> I just understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I just get it. I just understand what I'm doing. They don't. I'm just competent. Sorry. You guys are cracking me up. Either way, I am getting insecurity off this King of Wands um, and a need to control the situation. With that Seven of Swords in the Sun, it's illuminated to what kind of bullshit th these group, this group of people or person has been up to. Uh, where this is a romantic situation, I feel like they sabotaged it. They sabotaged it because they didn't understand themselves and therefore they couldn't understand you or this connection and they just sabotaged it. They couldn't see what it was. They couldn't see what it was and now they're surrendering to it even though you don't have the patience for it. They are going to be speaking to you, speaking to you about an offer and about stability for a very delayed reconciliation. It's very delayed. This should have happened a while ago. It was delayed because of them. It was delayed because of them. But yeah. That's the energy that you're coming to light about, that you're basically corralling and flipping on its back. All right? All right, so let's get some advice for you, Pisces. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans? Oh, come on. Regarding this, oh, Jesus. Regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans? Regarding this spread. Some of you in that work situation, you're already ahead. Like you've already done the initial process and you're already well into your business or whatever new career career field you chose for yourself, or whatever project or new invention you started and people are kind of in awe of you and even more intimidated. That's also what I'm getting, people you used to work with. <clears throat> That's only gonna be for a couple of you. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Oh, I love it! Oh, look at that, look at all that heart chakra energy, all that green, oh, I love it. And it's interesting because there's actually a lot of air energy. A lot of air energy, nightingale spirit, 41 breaking down to a five, love is all around. And then dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion, 22. There's something about the way you're speaking, which I said is very commanding. It's very captivating. Truth, it's truth. Any illusions, any bullshit, any misconceptions people had about you, the situation, other people, it's all being done away with because of your voice because of what you're saying and what you're speaking and how captivating you're being, how alpha you're being, like sit your ass down, it's time to listen. It's time to listen and get all this shit hashed out. The fact that love is all around, I mean, definitely for a lot of you, I feel like those are your guides and your family and friends, even though there's a lot of misconstrued bullshit that you're basically corralling and clearing the air up with, there's love there. You have family that loves you, you have friends that love you, and the truth that you're speaking is also reflecting that as well. Um, it shows how much you give a shit. It shows how much you give a shit. And because they're in such awe of your power right now, 
their love is going to show through. Their love for you will show through. Uh, I'm also getting that for the romantic interest, usually for me as a reader. This card is indicative of a very significant love interest around you on the way. Again, surrendering, the surrendering energy. You already know, Pisces, that high priestess energy. You already know, you kind of know they're coming. Pisces, I love you with how intuitive you are. So, not all of you, thank you. Okay, spirit's correcting my grammar. Um, some of you know this person's coming, but you don't have the patience for them. You don't have the patience for them, but they do want to talk. They do want to talk and make an offer of some kind. There is love there. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some water. Mm. Mm. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just got water on my cards. Dang it. Hold on. Man, these are new, too. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dang, I can't believe I did that. Oh, crap, that one too. Sorry, let me just take a minute to clean these cards off. I seriously can't believe I did that. Did I get these ones? Damn it, nope. All right, move all those out of the way. Anyway, Pisces, bringing it back to you. Um, yeah, this love, interest, this love interest does have a lot of love for you. And once you guys talk, if you, if you allow this person to speak, a lot of stuff will come to light. There'll be a lot of understanding between the two of you, okay? Um, Pisces, you're so intuitive. And I think I say this every video just because you guys are intuitive and it does help you so much. Keep using that during this time. You are being very Virgo and very Earth-like about the situation, which is very much serving you. But when it comes to romantic interests, just make sure that you are really tapped into your intuition. Yeah, make sure you're just really tapped into your intuition because I think there's a little bit of ego that I'm sensing, Pisces. No shade. We, all, we have an ego for a reason. You know, it just has to be a healthy ego, not an overdeveloped ego. Your ego might be telling you, don't listen, don't listen, don't listen to them. Don't talk to that person. Why would you talk to that person? Uh, may, you, you might want to hear them out. Spirit's telling me you really might want to hear them out. You really might want to hear them out, and your intuition will um, kick off regarding that. Okay? All right, so let's see what other cards we get out here. Any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice? I love this. Any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice for Pisces? Oh, someone else had that card. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? You got two more cards out here. Pisces, this romantic interest also recognizes that you basically, you know, they recognize the connection now because they have a better understanding about themselves because they've just surrendered. They stopped fighting. They've stopped fighting. I'm also getting with the family and friends situation. They're realizing they should have respected you a lot more. They should have respected you a lot more. You are worthy of more respect. You are worthy of more respect. Now we have, ooh, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. 18, breaking down to a nine with seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 53, breaking down to an eight. Progression energy with the eight to the nine. Close to completions and a lot of success in the process. Again, patience. <laughs> Pisces. Patience, patience, patience. And with dear spirit, I'm actually getting more of that alpha energy that you have. Try to be careful to not burn too many bridges, especially regarding the business stuff. Um, it's great to be alpha. It's great to be proactive when it comes to any of that, whether you're corralling your friends and family, whether you're proposing a business idea um, or any anything of the sort. Just make sure you throw tact in there, okay? Just make sure you throw tact in there. Patience and tact combined with all this alpha energy, you got to find that perfect balance, Libra. Libra? You can be done with the Libra, you can have that in your chart, or you should be harnessing a little bit of Libra energy here. Balance. Balance of, you know, alpha and beta. Balance of tact and patience with assertiveness and proactiveness. That's a hard, that's a hard line to walk, Pisces, but it's going to really pay off for you. It's going to really pay off for you, okay? And overall, we have Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. 50 breaking down to a 5. This is your second 5. For your Spirit Animal Deck, spirit animal deck, you got two 5s here. There might be a tower moment in here for some of you. If there is, you're causing the tower for other people, okay? So don't even worry about it. It's not a tower you'll be experiencing. It's a tower you'll be bringing. Anyway, overall is overcoming any obstacle. You can make this family reconciliation happen, this friend, this friend dynamic reconciliation happen, 
and any issues you have with this romantic interest, you can deal with it. You can work through it if you want to. It's just an opportunity. Hurts me get a little snippy with me. <laughs> it's just an opportunity, guys, that I'm just telling you about. You don't got to take it. It's just an opportunity. Um, but you can overcome it if you want to. If you really want to. And for those of you who've always struggled with issues with work, issues of not being heard, you will be dealing with that. You will be dealing with that by going about this process. Okay? All right, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out. Along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night, Pisces. Namaste.